So this is our demonstration of the Cadillac Super Cruise feature. So number one, we have to be on a limited access freeway, which is where we are headed right now. And a couple of things on this. Number one, we have to have the forward braking engaged, which is gonna come from the factory that way. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. Like I just talked about, you have to be on a limited access freeway. We're not sure what a limited access freeway is. We Any freeway that doesn't have crosswalks for pedestrians, doesn't have stop signs, doesn't have stop lights, always has a median in between, and usually either the uh, concrete borders or you're gonna see that steel fencing that goes up on the side. The other thing I need to do is make sure that I have my adaptive cruise control on. It doesn't have to be set, it just has to be on and available anyone is confused you have to at least be going 55 because 55 is where you at your minimum on any limited access freeway it's going to be reading the road 150 yards ahead of me knowing exactly which lane I'm in what direction I'm going and what twists and turns and curves and things like that might be coming on the intended path. So we're going to enter the freeway. Obviously, we're going to put on our turn signal here. Now, this will not work on on-ramps. This will not work anywhere until we get into a lane on our limited access freeway. I've got my adaptive cruise control where it's ready to go. And as soon as it's ready to go, I get a little gray steering wheel that comes up on the right, right side, letting me know that my Super Cruise is available. Unless I'm in the middle of whatever lane I'm in, it's not going to show up. So now, once I get into the middle of that lane and that icon comes up, I hit my Super Cruise button. You see it lights up green, letting me know that the car is now active and working. As long as my attention is straight ahead and my eyes are straight ahead and my head is forward, this car is going to do the adaptive braking, it's going to keep the gap control just like adaptive cruise, but with the super cruise, it's keeping me on what the engineers call a blue line. It's keeping me right in the middle of the lane that I'm intended to be in. Now, if I do take my eyes off the road, if I start glancing out this way, and I take too long with my eyes shifted to the left, or not keeping my attention, you see the flashing green. As soon as my eyes are forward again, that will recognize that my eyes are forward and that I'm in doing exactly what I'm supposed to do for Super Cruise to work. Because remember, even though the car is working here, I'm still supervising the whole time. Since we're going and I want to merge into this lane, I'm going to put my turn signal on. I'm going to grab control. You'll see the light turn blue, letting me know that I'm in control. I turn my turn signal off. I'm in my lane. I'm in the middle. It lights up green, and I'm back to Super Cruising. If something happened, if something was in the lane, and I need to take control, I can do that at any point in time. Now you see there, Super Cruise disengaging. I have to take control. This road, you can see where the lane is ending, and we have to get over into this lane. And I guarantee once we are, and we get into the middle, that Super Cruise icon will come back up again. We're coming up on this vehicle here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slow down, and you see the adaptive cruise control is disengaging. It read something that it didn't like, so it's completely disengaged Super Cruise right there and asked me for control. So I'm putting my hands back on, I see Super Cruise icon is back up, and we're back to Super Cruising again. If we come up in traffic, if we come up to sections of the road where there's been construction, Super Cruise can't pick that up. It's going off a database that's updated quarterly. Every four months that signal will get sent out to the car, it will update, and now those roadways will be complete and it won't have the interaction like what we just saw there. If I kept my eyes off the road longer than the five seconds, it would turn to the red, a flashing red LED, and then at that point, if I still haven't put my attention on the road, it's going to disengage Super Cruise, and it's going to actually start calling on start, putting on the flashers, and eventually bringing the vehicle all the way to a complete stop. It's all about safety. This is a safety feature. Um, the Cadillac, I, they will say it's a convenience feature, but to me it's a safety, convenience, and technology feature all in one. This is the future. This is just a nice little demonstration on Super Cruise.